Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from DeFrancoHosting.com. It has been such a long time since I have done a What to My Doc video, so I'm here to do just that. But first of all, quick disclaimer, I do think I am coming over with a cold, unfortunately, so my throat might, you know, give out here and there. Just a small warning. Anyway, let's get on with it. Finder is, well, the Finder. And if you look over here, you have all my, uh, well, I have all my shortcuts for my uh, most frequently used folders. And yes, you do see David Bather's name there over at youtube.com slash DLB1752 because I do work for him on a regular basis, so he has his own folder. So there you go, shout out for David. Dictionary. I was looking up Ipinit. <laughs> okay, first of all, yes, I probably said that word wrong, but first of all, let me say this real quick. This is not a problem for me. I was looking it up because it was in the office last week, and it was a hilarious episode. So I wanted to see the official definition. This is just embarrassing. Trust me. Trust me. I was not searching for myself. So let's just get out of there while I'm still in that hole and digging myself. This is iCal. iCloud is pretty self-explanatory. I use it to keep track of my sponsors, uh, my credit card payments, all that good stuff, and anything else that needs scheduling, such as Skype appointments. Safari, yes, I am indeed running Quibids right now. I'm not running Quibids, I'm looking at Quibids. And yes, I am watching the Canon Rebel T3i. I'm finally getting it myself into the DSLR market. I do want to wait for the T4i, but if I can get the T3i for less than $100, then I will. So I've been watching this thing for literally like three hours tonight. Very doubtful that I will win it, but it's always worth a shot. Um, and of course, as always, since I'm such a big believer in Quibbits, and yes, I have had many people win on Quibbits because of my tips, I will put my Quibbits referral link below. Next up is Chrome, which is actually my left monitor, so let's bring it over here. This is typically what I use for Mashable to check all the social media news. The Franco Gaming is usually on this uh, side. AOL Radio, I don't use the widget anymore, or the app, I mean, because the app is not fully supported by Line, unfortunately. But... I always have the web view, which is almost as good. And of course, Ad for Five. I just added a new ad today. Actually, several new ads uh, within the past seven days. So there you go. That is my second browser, my secondary browser, I should say. Um, I do actually like Safari as my primary. I know that may shock some people, but I just love it. In my opinion, it just performs better and it's more integrated with OS X. It's not perfect, though. It's, uh, you know, it's not perfect. Firefox, this is what I use, well, this is the browser I use for all my DeFranco hosting management on the social media side of things, so yes, you of course can see my Twitter account there. I refresh every now and then to see how many followers I've gained. Okay, five followers, that's not bad for a hosting account. And if you just heard a uh, <laughs> meow in the background, that was Shane. App Store, honestly, I don't go in the App Store that often. I do have an update for Final Cut Pro 10 that I had to install. So I'll do that later. I'm just kind of paranoid because I'm in the middle of some very serious projects for a client and I don't want to risk anything going wrong during an update. Not that I don't trust Apple, but I'm just not going to take the chance. I do use, I know Shane, I do use the official Twitter app right here. I have my own uh, column slash window open for at mentions since I probably get between 50 to 100 mentions a day, which is pretty cool because I love talking to you guys via Twitter and all that good stuff. And of course, over here, I do have my regular timeline with all my different accounts. I have the creative one, DeFranco Gaming, Tech Social, Ad for Five, and DeFranco Hosting. So yes, as you can see, I do manage quite a bit. And Bob was nice enough to post this flattering picture of me. So <laughs> shout out to CPU Kid for doing that. Thank you, Bob. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, I'm obviously being sarcastic put those back over there. I am kind of a neat freak. My windows have to be perfectly aligned at all times. Okay, moving on to iTunes. I love iTunes. A lot of people out there do hate iTunes. I mean, I'm not going to say it's perfect. It's very far from perfect, but I do, uh, you know, love it for the fact that it holds all of my content in terms of music and especially podcasting. I love podcasts. Um, as you can see, I'm subscribed to the unofficial Squarespace podcast. Um, iPad Today, Lee Laporte, The Tech Guy, Mac Break Weekly, This Week in Google, which is all about cloud computing, and of course, This Week in Tech, my favorite podcast of all time, besides Dignation, which yes, is missing from this list because it's no longer, it's no longer online. Oh, I don't feel like crying. Okay. Hey, that's actually my icon, the penguin. You know what? Actually, I mean, it's not my name, but this is the icon I usually use. Did I skip over email? I think I did. 
What am I, an idiot? Yeah, okay, well, here's my mail app, Apple Mail. I use it as if it's my religion. I mean, I'm religious about email. I depend on it for my everyday tasks and all that good stuff. Yes, I'm getting email in the background now. Where were we? iPhoto. I honestly don't even use iPhoto that much because I'm not, I'm not really into photography right now. Uh, you might see some random photos. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is just, actually, now it's going to try to import my videos on my SD card. Now I'm getting the beach ball of death because I am only on 5 gigabytes of RAM, which is not a lot by today's standards. So um, all those random photos you see are just for projects because I do work with um, a large variety of projects. But for my personal photos, I do have family, nature, tilt shift effect, toy effect. That's just all the effects on my Elf 3 Engine HS and all that good stuff. So let's just close that. I don't really use it for anything else at this moment. QuickTime Player. If you look in my open recent, you will see all of my wall client videos and my most recent video, which is my first taste of the five hour energy in which I die. So haters, if you finally want to see me die, that's your video. Fonica Pro 10. I freaking love Fonica Pro 10. I cannot express that enough. Hold on, let me clear out this new mail. It's bothering me. I'm very OCD when it comes to stuff like that. So yes, guys, like I just said, I freaking love Hanukkah Pro 10. I really depend on it for my everyday video editor. Not every day, but um, I try to put out at least three to five videos a week. And this is indeed my video editor of choice. And that is my new video, so check it out. I do have a, um, a couple of videos on Hanukkah Pro 10. So if you're interested, just search my channel for Hanukkah Pro 10. And the rest is up to you. Blackmagic Media Express, this is my primary application I use for capturing my gameplay footage. So if my Xbox was a one, you would see it right here. As I activate, as I activate, yeah, activate, activate Mission Control by accident. There you go. Colloquy or colloquy, ever since Chris Brillo said it the right way, I feel like I'm saying it the wrong way. Which makes sense, because I'm saying it the wrong way. But yes, that is colloquy, that's for the Nomish chat room. Um, and I use it for my own chat room. You don't really have to see that. It's pretty boring, but I mean, not boring, but pretty basic. Stream Desk. The only reason I have this in my dock, well, is for two reasons, I should say. By the way, it's on my secondary display. One for watching Chris Perella, which I don't really do as often nowadays since he does his TLDR on a scheduled basis. But, you know, now and then you can find Chris doing whatever. Uh, but the, second, re the uh, second reason I use it is to see if my stream is working. Uh, just fine over at ddefranco.com slash live. I mean, I don't show you nearly as much as I used to because I'm busy nowadays, but there you go. I don't really want to open up Skype because people's contact names and their email addresses and everything are right there, but you guys already know what Skype looks like, so I'll leave it at that. I do use Photoshop CS5.1. Let's open up a recent one. I just designed this for Tech Social real quick. Powered by Squarespace and DeFranco hosting. So that graphic is not only on Tech Social, that's the wide version, but a less wide version, probably about this width and left, is my personal site because, well, my sites are powered by both those sites. Where to now? Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is definitely a love-hate kind of thing. It's actually, it's far from love. It's more of a like slash hate relationship. The only reason I use Dreamweaver is to update After 5 on a quick basis. I mean, it makes it easy, it makes it convenient, I guess the word is, and it's pretty much it. Dreamweaver, I don't really recommend it, but I only use it because I have it, and well, because I have two. Text edit. Text edit is one of those apps where I rely on, and I can't imagine not using it. So let's bring up something, uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I going to bring up? Okay, YouTube links. This is my document that I paste into every single new YouTube video. Um, that way I don't have to retype it every time, obviously, it just makes it easier for me. And those are all my social links, websites, resources, other channels. So if you want to check out any of the sites, you know, write them down. Actually, just, you know, click any of the links below. I really decide saying you know less. That's kind of annoying. Microsoft Word. Again, one of those like-hate things. I like it, but I don't really prefer to use it. I just have to use it sometimes for work and for notes purposes but only when I need to. I don't prefer it, but only when I need to. And yes, I do have Pages installed, which is next. I obviously prefer Pages over Word. In my opinion, it's the classy version of um, uh, Word. So let's bring up my 15 YouTube tips. And this is my ebook. There you go. You can uh, actually get this for free. 
over at 15youtubetips.com. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, I don't design my ebooks within pages. The only reason that's in here is because I was originally do, uh, you know, doing it within this app. I just said you know again. Um, but I usually use iBooks Author. Whoops, sorry, as I destroy my mic. iBooks Author, which freaking spotlight's not working for me lately. But believe me, I do use iBooks Author uh, for my iBooks creation. And system preferences. Nothing exciting, but I will go over my other down here. Air Display, Blackmagic Design, Flash Player. We have to use Flash. Uh, but thankfully, Flash is going away soon. Well, not going away soon, but they're definitely phasing out. Uh, that's a fact. Flip for Mac WMV, that just basically allows me to open old Windows Media files within QuickTime. Launchpad, that lets me customize my Launchpad, which I don't really use, to be honest. Uh, but it's one of those things I just keep around. Printopia, I love Printopia. This basically, I'm looking at a new version. I'll just do that later. Well, I should have clicked uh, remind me later. Oh, well. Printopia, guys, I believe it's $10, but it's easily worth it. it. It just allows you to print from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, but, you know, basically any iOS device uh, with ease. It's amazing, and it also allows you to send to your desktop instantly over Wi-Fi, which is nice. Actually, over Bluetooth, I believe, over Bluetooth. And, of course, there's ScreenFlow, which you don't have to see because there's nothing to see until this video is done. Oh, and yes, let's go to my shortcut docs. Right here is my PR letter. That's the email I always send out to companies if I'm requesting a product sample for a review. And, and I obviously just fill in the blank saying I want so-and-so. And, and you know, over time, I update my subscriber count here and there. Tech Social Application Accepted. That is the document you will see in your inbox if you're accepted over at techsocial.com slash apply. Copyright YouTube claims for Machinima are right there. I just copy and paste. YouTube links for DeFranco Gaming. This is just like the creative one, but a somewhat different order of lists um, that I feel work better than the creative one. And yes, there is the creative one list that you just saw. And downloads, which is actually empty because I try to empty that every day if I'm not using anything in it. But believe me, I do use downloads all the time. And yes, I do say believe me a lot, don't I? And my trash. Nothing exciting, just old logos. Um and old podcasts that I already listened to. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding my doc, just ask below. And of course, as always, check out my social media links below, my websites and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.